Well, welcome back. You're watching Africa 54. The Miss Africa USA pageant recently held the eighth edition of its event here in Washington. And as Paul Ndiho reports, it's not just their beauty that counts. Here's VOA's Paul Ndiho. Twenty-one ladies are from twenty-one African countries showcased their moves at the Miss USA pageant recently here in the Washington metro area. Not the absence of beauty in the pageant's title, but it was not because the ladies were not beautiful, explains the pageant founder Lady Kate Injema. It was because the event is about so much more. Tonight is going to be a showcase of beauty, African culture, through talent, fashion, and you know, just a beautiful night, very entertaining, very educational. The pageant contestants are mostly all university students and stand to win a package worth $25,000 to go towards tuition, travel and other expenses. The contestants are get to promote a cause they care about and use their reigning year to raise awareness about it. As in any African event, a most protocol was observed this year, including the officiation of the event by village heads, who are also best in Washington. The big winner at the event was 26-year-old Nigerian Kathy Onu, a registered nurse. Her platform are raising awareness about breast cancer in memory of her mom who succumbed to the disease. Paul Ndiho, VOA News. And joining us now in the studio is the reigning queen of Miss Africa USA, Kathy Onwu. Thank you so much for joining us today, Queen Onwu. <laughs> Thank you for having me. So I should say, of course, congratulations. And um, curious, was this your first pageant? It was not. My first pageant was Miss Africa Tennessee in 2011 by Pan-African Women Association in Tennessee. Okay. And how did you fare on that one? Um, I won. Ooh. And um, that's what brought me to this pageant, Miss Africa USA. So one thing that is striking, and we mentioned, uh, Paul mentioned in the package he ran, that the, the, the word beauty is not in that particular pageant, the Miss USA Africa pageant. Uh, is that uh, significant? Um, yeah, Miss Africa USA is a humanitarian pageant. However, we're all beautiful in our <laughs> own ways. So I'm just honored to have this opportunity to have a platform that's near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. And that platform, Breast Cancer Awareness, raising it. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, um, in 2009, I lost my mother to breast cancer. Um, she was already diagnosed in stage four and it was spreading. So she didn't have long to live. And mm -hmm. I believe that if she had done self breast exams, we would have been able to detect it earlier. So with that, the reason, that's the reason for my platform. And although I'm focusing in breast health, um, I'm passionate about education, young, young girls, mm -hmm. educating young girls, and not only here in the US, but also back home. A little bit more about uh, raising awareness about breast cancer. There is so much awareness right now. You know, there are marches and walks basically around the world. What, what, why do you think people still don't do self-breast exams? How are you going to push that message? Yes, I've partnered with Vanderbilt's Coalition for Healthy Aging, and we have an initiative called Simply Pink. And with Simply Pink, we do self-breast exam workshops to teach young girls and women mm -hmm. how to do self-breast exams every month. So if you do detect a lump, then you can take further steps. So I do that here in the U.S., and I'll be taking that to Nigeria. I have a proposal that was already accepted, starting with secondary school girls and leading to women. So I see you in your glitter, and yes, you are beautiful. <laughs> well, and I say, you. how serious is this message, really? Do you have that issue of people saying, you know, how really can a beauty pageant promote such an important topic, even education, as you just noted earlier? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I tell people all the time that the crown is beautiful, but it's really what's in your heart. And I went against 21 beautiful girls, inside and out, who had amazing platforms. And it's just about making an impact, a, a positive impact, empowering women and mm -hmm. young girls and into creating the next generation of leaders, young women leaders. I'm curious about the process of becoming the queen of mm -hmm. Miss Africa USA. What, what was the process? Um, the process is, it's, 
You have it's to audition. Long. Yeah. Yes, but it's very fun. So this year we had so many people wanting to join and wanting to be a part of the pageant that there was a semifinals. So the semifinals was in December and that's when they cut it down to mm -hmm. 25 girls. So it was one from each country. So then when we went to the pageant, you know, we had practice and we had different seminars and different mm -hmm. workshops to for whoever won the Miss Africa USA title that night. So it was long, grueling, and by the end of it, you really felt like, wow, <laughs> you really deserved it. Well, I, I, I'm just really honored to, to have the crown and the sash and the opportunity to, you know, advocate for my platform. So no swimsuit. No swimsuit. How come? People want to see girls <laughs> in swimsuits, right? How come? Well, you know, the, the unique thing about this pageant is it is a humanitarian pageant. So the focus was on platforms. So the platform presentation was a huge part of the scoring. Mm -hmm. And that took place the day before the pageant. I want you to talk, talk a little bit about what you really hope to take out from this experience. And as a Nigerian also, you know, there's so much negativity when it comes to Nigeria. We hear about Boko Haram, we hear about fraud, we hear about, you know, the abuse of, you know, corruption. What do you want us to know at the end of this reign about Nigeria? At the end of this reign, Africa is a beautiful place. But as the giant of Africa, we should know, everyone should know that we're a young country and there are a lot of positive things going on. Anywhere you go, they're going to say good and bad. However, there's so much opportunity in Nigeria mm -hmm. for people to see, but um, I'm just honored to not only be a Nigerian, but to be able to give back as well, starting with Nigeria and going all over Africa. And you're pursuing your master's in nursing. You're yes. a registered nurse right now. Yes. How's that going? It's going well. Um, I'm part a of the pageant money went towards that. Yeah, well, I'm a full-time nurse and a full-time student. So part of the prize is, as Miss Africa USA, there's no way to put a price tag on it because there's so many opportunities and um, partnering with different organizations mm -hmm. and to be able to promote my platform is, is, is really nice and I'm just really honored. Any quick message for some aspiring queen out there? For any aspiring queen, I would tell her to, she's already a queen, and to always wear her invisible crown and to just always go for what she wants. Nothing is impossible. I need shades. The glitter is wow. It is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. We're really, um, really, really pleased to have you tell us about your platform and good luck. Thank you so All much. All right. That's uh, Kathy Onwu, reigning queen of the Miss Africa USA pageant. And she joined us today here on Africa 54.